We're getting things right underway here. Lucina Pyramithra. These guys won doubles together and now they're facing off against each other in winners semis. Yes, winners semis. We're about to get this right underway here. Just gotta finish the setting up stream here. Alrighty, these guys are going pretty hit for hit here. Pyra or Mithra does seem to have quite a bit of a frame advantage. BZ not with much character experience on this. That edge guard is gonna take it for stock. Oh, he gets back! Wow, holy! I was not expecting that at all. all right now I switched to Pyra, looking to get a kill here. A lot of these aerials are gonna kill up there. Great DI that he BZ is living. But this is looking like it's gonna be Pink's first stock, or it's gonna be BZ's first stock. Take it pretty quickly here. It does space out the downer or back here? I don't know. Now I'm confused. But uh, oh, looking for a quick edge guard and gets it. He misses the tech on the upbeat. Nice uh, awareness though from BZ to try and turn that around when he was down in percent. Oh, he jumps back with a counter and a little bit cheeky. He does end up getting that tilted forward, and now the stocks are even again. Back to Mithra and Lucina, two lovely ladies ready to duke it out and swing at each other. See how it goes. Right now, BC's winning. Must be some neutral interactions here, but obviously, his sword characters are not going to be hitting 15 hit combos. This isn't melee, but so far, this nickel and diving is working out in BC's favor. Can quickly turn around like the first stock did for Pink Bomb. Lands it down there, doesn't quite get the juggle, and now it's Pink Bombo's turn to see what he can do. That wheel is going to catch him. It lasts so long. And a downer going to take his stock quickly. Well, this is not looking amazing though. But just like that whole stock there was easy completely and then the ball looks really great. Put the down here. Now BZ with the up smash gonna put it both on last stock there. There's basically no difference between them there. Fighting just for any kind of advantage. Bomb with the up smash. He's got that move. He can do four hits. I've seen it before. I don't really know what it is though. Up till trying to start something gets a down throw. And now he's got oh well, reset back to neutral here. This guy's just jumping around trying to get something started. He to gets a fair and doesn't quite get the tech chase, but Pyro actually can't move with that move is out. Just quite get the punish. You gotta play some good defense when you're Pyro Mithra there. Now Beast is in the air, that up there's so scary, so big and threatening. And the back there that maybe fair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, and it's actually gonna knock him into it. That's dangerous. Did not know that was possible. But, uh, Oh yeah, unfortunately that counter did not let him live and that game one's gonna go to Pink Bombo there. You can see what adjustments we might see from BC there. It's such a new character, so many things. Never competed against anyone who plays Pyramithra. So we'll have to see what adjustments can be made and uh, maybe even a character switch. We'll have to see. We'll definitely have to see. <laughs> Since we've uh, put winners on, we have garnered a little bit more of an audience here, people watching. Let's see, two of the best go at it in the region. And I am back. Hello there. Oh, well, I lost 2 0, but oh my lord. That was a tight set. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's good to hear. Let's see, BZ versus Pink? Yep, game one just went to Pink. Okay, thank God I'm early. This is a very interesting matchup, to be honest. Yeah, we're, we're running the same exact matchup we did last time. Okay. But the thing is, I think BZ is going to be gaining more and more of an edge because the more he learns how to play against this very, very new character, I think probably the more he might succeed. Well, it's going to come down to speed versus damage because, like, they're both technically fast characters. Yeah. But you see that it gets more damage. Yeah. But it's and then, you have, then you have Pyra to worry about, right? Right. Well, like. I feel like I feel like Lucina can deal with Pyra a bit. Just because she has the speed advantage. But I didn't see the last match, so. Well yeah, it was a lot of actually very early kills, like a quick down air and an SD unfortunately from BZ. Oh, here we go now. Ooh. Oh, gonna punish that. Not gonna whip up smash, yeah. Well, he's just gonna hit hit back on the stage, it doesn't affected too poorly, but nope. Pink's gonna roll and just grab right after. Oh, that's so scary. Oh. Which is the grab. Now these guys are both just fighting for this first stock. Any kind of advantage? Oh, he parries oh. the last hit, but doesn't quite get anything. Pink definitely wasn't expecting it, but oh, jeez. Nope. 
getting back on the stage with Barry. He's got the whole stage now. Gonna shield all that up smash is good and it definitely could have poked it. Okay? Anyone can get the first kill at this point. Oh, but Pink is gonna get it. Here we go. Easy looking at maybe right. take this quickly. Uh, he's got whiffs and up smash there and he's gonna eat a good a percent for it. Alrighty, now he's gonna take it. I looked away for the time. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Are you watching right now? I am, I'm commentating. Oh, Are you well? I'm I'm commentating. Oh, you think you can win this all? No, I uh, I strictly cannot. These guys are incredible in the game. They're really incredible. I'm a scout for a Nintendo scout. You're a Nintendo scout? Well that's pretty dope, honestly. Can I just say one thing? You are such a liar. He's lying? These guys just grab him right now. Percents are pretty even, but a little bit favored in Pink Bombo's, uh, Pink Bombo's way. See what he can do here. They're trying to hit the F-Tilt's going to put him in great position, but that side is just so oppressive. It's letting Pink get back stage for free and all sorts of other things. Hit him off stage, but that falling bear is going to hit like a truck. And uh, going to catch the jump. Easy doesn't like it. Let's see what he can do to bring this, reel this game back in a little bit. Gonna catch him. Percents are about as even as they could be. This is anyone's game for the taking. Pink Bombo already trying to get as much advantage as he can. Whiffs that uh, neutral B. And uh, starting some, he gets the dash behind him. He's just surprised he doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is, so. Oh, and now that he takes advantage of switch there. And, yeah, that's gonna be the stock. Great awareness from BZ, great fair. It's gonna seal it up. And now it's all tied up. This venue is pretty packed right now. Spectators are enjoying this game. This is tight. There's people swinging. There's people swinging for money. And that's the truth. This is winter side top eight. Like people, they work hard to get this far, and both of these players certainly have. Let's see what we can do here to keep the set going. And should we see if we might see a character switch? It definitely, Lucina definitely worked out for him that time. He's slowly adapting. Like I said, probably the longer the set goes on, the more comfortable BZ is going to be with fighting against this character. As little as he's seen it thus far. Now, of course, I definitely caught him by surprise. Let's see if there's anything else. You can catch him by surprise getting underway right here on small battlefield. I think Bombo has got the first edge. Think about Mithra as fast and incredible as those hitboxes are. You're not getting all that much damage, but eventually it's going to add up and keep getting hit over and over and over. This juggling situation is going way well for Pink Bombo right now. He was getting it, but now as BZ is starting to retaliate, you got that back air off the down throw, a bit of awareness. Now it's a of frame down, and I think Mithra wins that in my opinion. That up smash is going to cover the world. It covers the whole platform, it looks like. really all that much you can do about that uh, side me there, or at least in BC's head. There's all sorts of new things he's learning as the set goes on, and uh, frankly, I don't know if he can adapt fast enough. That being said, he probably pushes his lead as hard as he can. BC doesn't want to give him an inch. Forward throw, now he's got him off stage. This is where he excelled on that last start. Got to shield that, and yeah, he's got to get that up smash. That might have worked in pools, Pink, but it's not going to work here. Forward throw. Could be a nice card opportunity for Pink. Doesn't get that downer like he did in game one. Counter doesn't actually reach him, just doesn't quite have the range. Pyra and Mithra's range is just so ridiculous. That have felt great use of an anti air there. This is going to be second stock. Pink is down a little bit, which is actually not really what we've seen from us in the set. He's trying to get something started with up tilt. Now he's tech chasing. Not fair. Great way to start a combo here. He's got a fair. And lets him get on ledge there by a. No easy, may, uh, no easy means, but both pink and easy showing their defensive chops transfer over no matter what character you're playing. Well, I mean, that and foresight probably helps him out. Everyone is in at once. Oh, not quite. There's, these guys are just kind of hitting each other out of shield lots because they don't really know if that side be going to take it, though. 
great stuff from Beast. That was probably one of the first percentages I could have killed, so great stuff. Might have even caught that DI, I'm not even sure. Hits him up, that combo doesn't really want to follow it up and do something that's safe. He's gonna make it back now, he's got him. Yeah, he gets the shield up. That's the thing, is you can only shield and roll and do defensive options while you have that side DI. No other attacks, and that fair is gonna do it. Great stuff for Beast, they're gonna go up 2-1. Picker's telling me about how much he's really enjoyed Paramentor. Now that it looks like he might be on his back for a little bit, BZ learning, like I said. We might see a switch, we might not. We'll have to see. BZ showing me he's playing the Still Woozy Lately EP, one of my favorite EPs to listen to right now. He's certainly enjoying it. And I'm certainly enjoying watching this game. We're jumping right into game four. Let's see if Beezy can clutch it out or Pinky start mounting a comeback. Beezy's won two straight here. Both of them playing safe with such amazing long hitboxes and disjoints. They have room to, you know, put some space between them. Let's see, VZ definitely adapting to those juggles that he got hit with the last game, uh, game two or game three. Game three. Not really getting hit with that same stuff. Gonna get F smash there. That's the thing about Pyra is once you stop getting hit by some of these punishable options, you can start punishing. And that up smash, I'm gonna take a down or up smash, or down or upper, sorry. Uh, looking pretty good for VZ over uh, Pink right now. Oh, Joined again with my friend uh, Chris c 18 -er. This is uh, game four now, actually. Game four. And, uh, Regina up. You hate to see it. Yeah. Oh, we'd love to see it. Game one actually went to pink, and like I was saying, I think the longer that this game goes on, I don't think Beast has ever competed against the Pyramithor before. The longer this set goes on, the more, more knowledge it, yeah, the accumulate. And I think the longer that the set goes on, it's probably going to be more in Beast's favor as time goes on. But that game one was kind of that a kind of a slob, and uh, he took it. And now the last two Carters. One, but uh, he's a little bit he's down right now. He's, right now. he's bringing it back though. Since I got it. Yeah. He's, that's the thing. He's being so safe with his punishes because he knows Mithra has these defensive options, but he doesn't really know how they work. <laughs> I don't really know how they work. I don't know how they work. Yeah, he got past with a foresight one time. And Carter just went. What? <laughs> just one pongo for his health. <laughs> Oh, and he did that side me again. It's so punishable, but you do get to play good defense regardless oh. when it comes out. Oh, he lost that fair. He's hungry for it, but he's going to make it back with that neutral beat. That's such an interesting move. And Ooh. wow, that move is right. so yeah. enormous. Gonna yeah. take him. Yeah, this is down quite a bit here. He's going to have to make some sort of push for the lead here if he wants to take this game. Yeah, he's going to need a couple more aggressive options to try and get a little more money back for his buck yeah. here. Get a little more bank for his buck here off these, off these combo starting. He's like, he's. You know, he's landing his up tilts, he's landing his falling up there, but he's just a little scared of what could yeah. come, come uh, of it, because I would be too. I mean, yeah, if you, fear of the unknown is only natural. That's like fighting a character you've only heard of in Legends and never actually seen. Oh, you see, they're right doing now. good stuff in neutral, both of them, but his punches just aren't quite there. The little rain data is kind of abysmal. Oh, that's so oh, scary, that, that could have been the game. Scary. And that forward throw. He's just kind of in a bad position here. Oh, oh no, oh stage. no. Oh, he actually Somehow doesn't get hit by that because of the attack. That. That, was, that was really yeah, good by Beezy. Yeah. Now, it, now it's his time to yeah. trust Bob here. He's got to take the stocks he's in, and there, there it is. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Good yeah, stuff. Like, he's doable. Definitely doable. Oh, yeah, and unfortunately, he's just going to angel platform fair, and now that's going to go to game five. Of course, I'm going to quickly go. Watch that. I'll hold it down for game five. Hunter gifted? On who? You take your guy? I want him too. <laughs> you must be bread water if you think I'm betting them. Hunter gifted. <laughs> Two years of tier three. I'm not made of money, hey? <laughs> Fuck. Game five. 
Here, but BC looking to capitalize yeah, on this. Yeah, gonna be super safe. And, um, man, so here. It's game five, like every single hit matters so much here. Like, just, oh, and there it is again. He yep. gets actually like it's like tanks the hit. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, so, it, it, oh, it, oh it, using it, the it, shield breaker there. Three. Starting to acknowledge some habits here, which is kind of what Carter needs to do. Oh, trying to this. Grab oh, oh. Hit the thing. oh, just barely recover safely. That was so scary. And oh, then back there. there. Not quite yeah. gonna take it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the ledge is so contested. Forward throw, he's waiting for a jump. Great Nair on the stage. Not oh, an so gets a little town assist there. Almost a uh, town assist for uh, Pink Mambo. He's got a land safely here in that F-Smash. Uh, down two stages. Run. He's taking the stock and running with it. Yeah. Still 135. He's got to close out before he takes too much damage. He's already at 25, though. All oh, these guys. A little bit of game five happening. A little bit of game five spaghetti. Forget oh. your fork. Oh, that falling up right there. That's, that's what you gotta do there. He needed that. And now, oh, if, did not if BZ it. has anything in the tank, he's gotta use it right yeah. now. He's gonna eat an he up smash it. there. Oh, oh my god, just charge. Gets yeah, away from that. That's crazy. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, up smash. Yeah, that's Down air up. Woo! That's four seconds. <laughs> 